Alpha trading here in this bottom side. Um, Toronto Q and Nightfall. So, oh, top lane here, White Moon. The Brambles are going to connect. This is a Blood Grenade with a right click save. He gets first blood. Can the troll get some access going here for that last right click? No, it's on either way. So I'm actually quite surprised. We we've, we've just seen a single kill so far in this game. Because the lanes are so volatile. Yeah, they really are. Any aggression could be punished if we dive to to oh top lane. They find Timado here, even with the one, he will fall. Really nice brambles here. Save having a lot of impact in White Mon. He's trying to trade and get a kill. Nice dodge with the Shadow Realm. And this could be a kill. It will be. He actually gets the trade with the right click. But Pure definitely the big winner. We thought that the X was going to struggle. But he is doing well in CS. And a by definitely prevents the aggression here for Kasane. Mom just uh, rotation here for White Mon. We have the Pangolier. The Frostbite's gonna stop the Rolling Thunder, and they will get this kill before even using, committing that OT. So this is big for TSM. If they can get this kill and even save the Rolling Thunder, Batboom, they're gonna be shaking for the next bio rotation. There we have it. He doesn't even commit his OT for it. A lot of that pressure in the lanes. Ryo, he goes in with the Rolling Thunder before even seeing if there's a rune, so... Maybe jumping the gun a little bit. This is how much these mid players love runes. And he finds a turn on Tokyo. This could be at least one kill. Ari goes in and they're going to find one kill. But the rune will be picked up by GPK in return. Trading a support on Top for lane, a rune. another That's rotation. Rolling Thunder was used, but Ryo still has some mana. Gets the shoot crash with the swash. And this should be a kill despite that Vanguard on the, on the XO. TSM. Is there any rush here for Bad Boom? Like, they have these two blinks we were talking about, you know, possible rotations and everything. Can they just keep on farming? Or do you think it's a problem if Bad Boom uh, just chills for too long? Oh, okay. Uh, we do see a kill here. The blink dagger from Pure is revealed, and that's a Vengeful Spirit kill. Not too shabby. Oh! All right, GPK, he's going to be disposed, but the Pangolier, he's stuck in between a Fissure and that Cliff. So for now, GPK lives. He's not cliffed to the high ground as the Dark Willow shows up. Will repel Ryle as the Ancient Totem with the damage. I think he had a Shield Room, so quite hard to take him down. But with that Ancient Totem and the Cullen Blade, they claim a kill. What seemed to be a pretty good rotation from TSM becomes a nightmare. And now Pure Chasing has a blinking five, but it looks like Ari will be able to uh, run away. One is alone, and they kind of have the right idea here. The rune, we saw how much Briar loves those runes. Maybe they can bait him here. Oh, good position from Pure. Save is going to break the smoke. They know the position. Shadow Arm gets used. They find a different one, but that's a good swap. Buying time for Ari as the Rolling Thunder finds two. The two supports get destroyed here. Save. Soon to follow, the Fusal Blade slowing him down, double kill for Bryo, and GPK, his damage is going to be sapped, and his life will be taken. Bryo, he was, he totally read that move, he didn't jump for the rune, and Pure ended up going for a play that was just not ideal. I don't think they could have forced it much more. Because at that point it would have become really predictable. But let's see if they can find something oh, here. They wait a second. The they get the blade mail call with a lot of damage coming from Toronto Tokyo and save. So this is a big kill. They finally get that Timado troll pure. Being chased down by the Rolling Thunder. They will not get enough damage so far. But with the shield crash and the right clicks, the diffusal blade slowing him down. It's not gonna be enough. Good echo though. The centaurs helping GPK claim that kill, and now Ari will join Whitemon as they try to disengage. The supports are on them though. Can they get some Brambles or on Tokyo? Tumblr's toy finds one and I think Whitemon should be next. They pop the God Strength and Roche is on the dire side. This could even be a connection if they really want to. So far though, looks like the tier 1 tower is what they want. They're not gonna force this to... Yeah, maybe he just values it so much that he wants the long one in the late game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's what the, most of the carries seem to like at the moment. Good swap here, preventing Timado from dying, but not too fast. GPK makes sure that that support falls, and Timado is by himself here. He might be able to cast his ulti. No, they quickly go with the Dark Willow ulti, and so many stuns here. Bad boom. They're gonna make sure TSM pays a hefty price for going 
you know, for taking this tier 2 tower with only two heroes, just way too many stuns as Ari should be next. Pure has the call available. They will drag Ari here and the poor Marcy can't even say anything. Gets taken down in Kasani. He's trying to get a punish over this, but the BKB on this fan, it's way too much damage. Oh no, they get baited so hard. It's not really a spell that... Uh, that you can easily cast without putting yourself in danger. So, mm -hmm. for support, not gonna be that good. As Spirit finds a jump here onto the Razor. You got a good, uh, gonna another swap, buying some time for Kasani to disengage. This time, they won't move forward. The SM, they understand that Batman has the numbers and they should be able to pressure this mid lane here if they so choose. Mm hmm. And maybe we should blame his team though, because if uh, Pango was behind, it would have gone a lot better. But still, oh, Timado, so he will be found. Doesn't have the status resistance. The stun is there, but they just kill him. The culling blade, not enough life still, not enough damage. Timado once again gets taken out, and another echo. Not enough creeps, but it doesn't matter. They have more damage with saves Bedlam, and they claim another. Ari has a TP. Can he get out? Oh, they know. They know. GPK, he's been around the block. That dispose will not stop the advances of Bad Boom. And slowly but surely, Ari will die to that vessel. Posturing here, they're going to be able to realize where TSM has vision. Possibly even find Timado. They have a Radiant Ward right there. They ping the position. Deep jump, but they actually read this perfectly. The Vengeful Spirit was in position, but the Echo with the Totem, with the Fisher, Timado trying to run away. Didn't really dispel the Battle Hunger in time, and the right click damage of Nightfall claims the kill. TSM, even though they read it, it was just, once again, not enough numbers. Only the Venging position, and with five heroes, they just chase Batroom. They just chase Timado down. Pure though, they will find him. He has a BKB. They're gonna stop the advances, cancel the link. Ari somehow cancel. I don't know what cancel the engine totem there. Maybe it was the roll with Pure four stepped away. We have the catch though. That's enough damage to take Pure down. But Ryo, he gets hit by the Curse Crown. GPK with the chase. Some mana being drained by Diffusal, so he doesn't have a lot of mana to work with in the blink. We will allow Ryo to eggs. Um. Now, for the shake here, after you get that eggs, uh, do, you, do you like Octaring here? Oh, wait a second here. Fight's brewing up. They get some vision. Nice magic missile with the shard. They're going to find. Okay, Bryo stuck again. Buy some time for Toron Tokyo to survive. And oh, no. They don't even get the CM. This is less than ideal as the pure travels will go through. They don't get the courier kill. And now, swap by time for Bryo as the Echo only hits the Marcy. So that's not a bad start for TSM. Look at that though, Timado stuck behind four Brambles and Kasane, his BKB is gonna be wearing out soon. They're gonna slow down GPK as Timado has his BKB, gets on top of Nightfall. They don't commit the damage, finally Gosser is gonna be used. Patience of Nightfall, now they get the pure fall. Timado oh, finally gets his OT off, but he doesn't have the BKB anymore. And the Blade Mail will make sure that he falls. TSM, they lose three. Only Nightfall falling on the side of Bad Boom. And then even though he's the carry, this is a commanding lead, a commanding fight, a team wipe from Bad Boom. Good fight for Bad Boom. And I gotta say, the, the save Dark Willow ever since the late stage. Wait a second, as we see another call followed by a swap. White Bone, he's been on point with those swaps, but it doesn't seem to matter for the most part. This Timado is gonna change targets, and this is a scary one, but Nightfall, is it really? As he just falls the War Cry armor, not enough to stop it. They're gonna cancel. No! No, the Fangolier! He jumps through the Willow. So they only get two kills. At least GPK, maybe a bash. There we go. They're gonna stop that TP. GPK has some mana, but not too much as Bryo quickly gets rid of that and the Aegis will be off. So unless GPK gets some magic here, he should be falling. And with the Silver Edge, yep, yeah, he is not gonna lose. I'm not super sure why Sven keeps trying to fight Troll. Yeah, I think in a game where, like, sure, Timado, he's is definitely struggling in some of these fights, but he one thing that he does is he buys a lot of time, right? He's not a very hard hero to kill, okay? As Pure will drop the call a little bit off the mark as Bri will be able to dodge some of those safe spells, and he will quickly 
get rid of the Willow. Can they get another one though? Here is the one that they want. It's gonna be forced to BKB. Look at that Timado LT. They're gonna stop any chances of a Blink Dagger. The call though by some time, they're gonna drain a lot of damage. And as you said, TSM seems to be in this game still because the 17k goal lead gets reduced by 10k in about two minutes. Yeah, and this is pretty characteristic for Bet Boom. Yeah. Harpoon finish here on the Sven. AC is going to be his next item of choice. Uh, is this a smoke rotation here? Yeah, TSM, they go for one. They're going to find Pure. All right, this is a big jump. The Rolling Thunder doing a lot of damage. Pure barely got his BKB off. A big echo in the sidelines, but it's only on the Mars, and she has a BKB herself. So they get on top of the Shaker there. Can they chase him down? This is a little bit of a weird one, as Shaker is quite fast. We'll be able to win and throw it away. But in the back lines, they lose the Willow. So Timano is just chasing that hero by himself in Nightfall. Even though he's in this, they are slowly chasing. We see that shard working. For the most part, Timado just goes in with BKB and he can't really deal with that. Is he is he being too greedy with those oh, okay? That's uh that's a Timado ulti chasing Nightfall's BKB. Some range attacks to stop the blink daggers as Nightfall uses his ulti and pure with the TP. They have the call. The HP of Timado slowing down. Not really. He actually is licensing so much. Nightfall has to run away and pure. He thought he was helping, but he gets killed instead. And on the other side of the map, GPK to forced to BKB. Map. So. It was a pretty big gold lead. Yeah, we finally get the win probability here on TSM side. Pretty much for the entire game, they had the backs against the wall, despite that really good start from Timado. And now Nightfall, he's the one being chased again. He's just gonna die. This Razor is pretty much being the bane of his existence. That shard by itself seems so annoying for Nightfall to deal with. So they get the Aegis, they find the carry here by himself. I guess at least there's no wave for TSM to really take quickly chew through the melee barracks and Bad boom. They're gonna have to give away so much to defend this. The call is off the mark. Pure. He's gonna be engaged and now Nightfall is forced to buy back, but they can just disengage if they want to. Okay. They find Avenge. Huge jump from GPK. He finds that save. He finds what was really preventing Timado from being killed. But the buyback's available. And uh, they're going to re-engage with the Venge. Just save. Just taking so much damage. He Shadow Realms on Kuno. He will fall. They get the call. But Timado pops the BKB. There's no spells available to be cast. They're diving the fountain here. Pure will fall. As they do get a Razor kill. Can they get Timado though? He's going to be right-clicking this Ven. And he's unstoppable. GPK moves forward. Blinks back. Still. There's nothing stopping Timado from hitting the tier 3 tower. The buyback on X is scary. They get a two-man call with the Venge, so she falls again. This is not good. Okay, can they get a second kill? The Echo is on cooldown. Nightfall can't really right-click as Timado has a refresher. He backpacks his items. He will solo kill that Shaker pretty much as Soron Tokyo is just doing, taking so much damage. They do have a buyback on the Shaker. They're holding on to it. Eventually, he gets used. The model pretty low. Gets that second OT off. Get his solo QDX. So far, it feels like he can. It, it's pretty slow, but he gets a twofer. That's a double kill. They know Pure has no buyback. The last one is the Crystal Maiden. They're going to find Nightfall here. He's going to be taken down. His buyback is over. And TSM with a big comeback. That's a 17k gold comeback here from TSM. And we thought that Batman had the late game, but somehow, Wingblade. Then they took an awkward fight next to a tier 1 when they lost a couple of heroes. And then while they were down on heroes, they... Huh. Someone insult Pure and he's running down mid. No. <laughs> I'm done, guys. I'm done. We are out of the tournament. I, I just want to jump in the pool as... Oh, wait a second here. Uh, White Mon? It worked. The mind games worked. <laughs> really nice play by Bedboom. Okay, yeah. Definitely not something you see in professional games too often, but now with the weight lift off their shoulders, Bedboom. They're going ham here. Brian just walks in arrow, and he's gonna soon follow suit. So, Bedboom, they start with two kills. His abilities, because they're not very <laughs> descriptive. It's like Onslaught, that can mean any one of his abilities. <laughs> true, that is actually true. It reminds me of Slardar, right? It's a bash ability as night will be not a bad.
bash, but disposed of twice from the skill and from the game. And Toronto Tokyo here will be uh, left with just some right clicks. Pick is a little bit of a question mark for me because this hero definitely got phased out. And sure, you, you have a, a decent amount of uh, stuns to chain your arrow, but in the lane stage, I wonder how good it's going to be as save will not really do any damage with the links. Well, White Mon really zoning down safe here. Oh, the blood grenade as well. And very low cooldowns. This should be a kill. He gets vision. He gets that minus armor. One right click. He waits so he doesn't miss from the low ground. Nicely done. This is probably... Is this a game where you can see TSM making more stacks? Because in that game number one, we, we actually saw pretty much no emphasis on stacking as in this game. Rolling Thunder. Gonna be used here. GPK will be zoned out. Bump to the high ground as Brio. He gets stuck, but gets a good swashbuckle. So he gets the kill, but the haste room will be denied by Toronto Tokyo. Uh, once again, I have no idea what Dazzle's built. Oh, wait a second here. We're going to see some combos that inks well. The bug and the trample. They will kill Brio. So GPK gets his revenge in that mid lane now. Top of the net roof. And podcast, and they were talking about the fact that, you know, Wisdom Rune is a competition of who clicks faster for something that is quite meaningful. Do you like the way uh, the experience works now with runes instead of the tone? No, I'm not a huge fan. I feel like it takes away some of the agency that you had with the tome. Maybe there is a more elegant solution. But Games feel so impactful. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. They already did it in Timado. He will be the next prey of that Dream Stroke Primal Beast combination. There's no saving from that and quickly bedroom they get a goal lead the Sven still doing pretty bad but TA seems so important here on the TSM side we'll see if they can somehow uh, save the other but uh, you know stacks definitely increase how fast you, you, you don't really move around the map too fast with uh, Templar Assassin mm -hmm. that's a oh, very moment a second based here. Venge gets found as Bryo shows up, he will be able to stun down GPK. Ari moves in but gets stunned by the Inks. Well, they keep on chasing GPK. It's pretty low. They get the traps and finally TSM, they will claim GPK again. So pretty decent kill. Oh, do it. Does make sense as uh, we do see Timado here being chased, being... Oh, look at that smoke. He's going to be in this there is a sentry though so they know where you are timado you gotta be very careful the silence is on top of him gpk his trample is quite slowed down he's significantly slow doing no damage and the rolling thunder they actually leave gpk alive for now can he onslaught away he actually is cool now yeah i don't think he's gonna live it uh a little bit awkward there but they really wanted the other kills tsm they cling to getting very excited and then he runs in, he gets slowed down, his pulverize doesn't deal any damage, and then he just dies. Because he really isn't that tanky. Yeah. As, uh, oh, like, you know, when you're level 6 and everyone's level 4, you can maybe look like you're tanky, but as those OTs come out... Alright, he's gonna try and go again, get slowed down, but the arrow will connect onto Kasane. So I think they have to damage the Vessel from the Dazzle alongside all of that burst, the healing from Kasane, as much as it's strong, gets... Repelled, gets reduced by the vessel. So pure. So far, three z or, or thirty net worth. Nicely done from Nightfall, making use of some of the stacks that Bat Boom made for him. But another smoke here. They have that swap into the Rolling Thunder. Yeah, you can see that uh, Murana from Tokyo got three stacks off as Bryo looking for Nightfall. He doesn't have his God Strength. Warcry is going to be used. The Soul Bind, uh, not really useful at the moment as Bryo will try to disengage. They get the silence going with Stormhammer. Do they have enough damage? They do. Pretty much five heroes in the top lane and it is GPK that claims that kill for the first time. Yeah, I think so. Um, although last game I thought the same. <laughs> oh, yeah. Speaking of a good time, they want to play with Marcy and I think she has no say in that. So they quickly dispose of her. Can they rush out of the less Ayok number one. So let's see this core dazzle. Can I show me something as Bryo? He's gonna be shown a beast in his face with an arrow on top of it. So GPK gets a killing spree. And maybe, just maybe, Roshan could be uh, something they wanna take. And it seems a long game here as the, they're just gonna slowly 
try to peel down TSM. Oh, wait, hey, wait a second here. They're gonna drop Marcy on top of Nightfall, but he just gets aired and dies. Bryo looking for the backlines, but BKB on Nightfall is allow him to pretty much run away. Uh, Whitemon disengages and they force a pretty decent amount of stuff from Batboom with that Marcy death, so this is not too bad. Oh, unless DP dies, good save from Whitemon. Can they get a silence here in the GPK? That's done from the Primal, it just doesn't allow it. The cast point on uh, DP's silence is way too big. Yeah, GPK is still going ham on this Primal Beast, but this time he has an Aegis and a BKB, so he's finally tanky enough to actually get away with it too. Oh, but now you get that second uh, charge and like you rarely see that anymore. That was one of my preferred things uh, in the old times of Dota. Mm -hmm. Smoke did get scouted out though. Okay, Still. they find DP Whitemon with the swap and some healing coming here for Kasane. But Whitemon, he's gonna pay the price. That's his role though, it's okay. If only he's the one that dies, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. But the BKB already committed and GPK, he is a psycho. He dives the tier threes, but that's just uh, that's just to rub salt in the wound as Nightfall with his God Strength. It doesn't feel like TSM is oh, doing much right okay, they now. Smoke, but they, they, they instantly pure... use the Rolling Thunder here, diving the Spangle. But look at that, he gets the Rolling Thunder through the roll as the Lotus Orb came a bit too late. Kassan and now forced to run away, but Inkswell stunning him down. They have a trap to maybe slow GPK, but Whitemon forced to go for the swap. They keep on chasing. Can they find Kassane? They get a stun as GPK with the Onslaught will find. They're gonna dive the towers here, only buyback on Bryo, but he's holding on to it, so Kasane will fall, or maybe not. The healing is decent, but the Siphon will not suffice, as four die on the side of TSM. And the Aegis did expire, but it doesn't matter. It's bad boom here. Four seconds for the God Strength. This could be... BKB. And that was gonna be the big timing, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be in time, because... Now I blinked and it's a 15k lead. Okay, that's a swap, but uh, doesn't amount to much as Bryo. Oh, once again, they're gonna get that Bengalier and they're gonna mash it to the ground. Okay, White Mon, I think you might also be dead. They have vision of you. Okay, don't you worry. They might have a plan here as Kasane forced you to start the fight with the Lotus Orb, just afraid of that Pulverize. Silas on this fan is not gonna do too much as they will get the magic missile down, but Bad Boom, they're not waiting for Roshan. They see how strong they are, but look at that! The Pulverize is actually on top of the Lotus this time, stopping GPK on his tracks, but the damage from this fan, it doesn't matter. Kasane, he, I mean, he just gets four kills in a row and the GG instantly follows suit. TSM, they had a good run in game number one, but swapping that DP for the Razor. And okay, offlane dazzle. I'm not sure they really needed that offlane dazzle to win the game, but uh, the lane was really good, so maybe there's some merit to it. You